A handful of British players are just one win away from the U.S. Open main draw. Billy Harris and three other British players are just one win away from reaching the U.S. Open main draw, but Heather Watson is not among them. Qualifying for the final Grand Slam of the year is well underway with the event at Flushing Meadows getting underway next week. Harris has never featured in the main draw in New York, but is now just one victory away from making the final cut. He secured a comfortable 6-1, 6-3 win over Merkel Delian to give himself a great chance of playing in only the second Grand Slam of his career. There were also wins for Jan Choinsky, Sone Kartal, and Lily Miyazaki. Choinsky was a set and a breakup when Valentin Vachero retired from their match with an injury, while Kartal beat Simona Waltert in straight sets, and Miyazaki came from behind to defeat Kathinka von Dijkman. Watson, however, was one of three British players to lose in the second round of U.S. Open qualifying. She was beaten 6-1, 6-4 by Belarusian second seed Aleksandra Sasnovich, while Paul Jubb lost 6-3, 6-7, 3-7, 6-3 to Otto Vertanen. Francesca Jones also failed to progress, being forced to retire due to an injury while on the brink of defeat in her match against Ina Shibahara. Jack Draper and Dan Evans are the only British men already in the main draw for the U.S. Open, which gets underway on Monday. Katie Bolter, Emma Raducanu, and Harriet Dart are on the women's side of the draw and will be hoping to give a good account of themselves at Flushing Meadows. Raducanu has been tipped to mount a surprise title challenge by Laura Robson, who believes she will be competitive despite playing just three matches since Wimbledon. She's not a player who needs a huge amount of matches going into a big event.